Hey everybody, welcome to this month's How's the Market. Uh, we're gonna dive into it, um, and again, we're talking, this is basically up to September 1st. Um, a couple weeks delayed, I apologize. We actually had a big golf tournament. This is a shameless plug uh, for the kids, Charity Golf Classic. Um, if you have not heard of it, um, please check it out um, on social media at for, um, for the kids underscore Charity Golf Classic. Um, but we just had, got done an event, great event. Uh, raised a lot of money for a lot of local charities, and we had a lot of good people involved. Um, but that's what I've been uh, really doing the last couple weeks. So now that that's done, we'll get back into how's the market. Um, so a couple stats we're going to dive into, and again, we'll have them up on the screen. Um, changing it up a little bit this this you know going this year uh, or the rest of the year, just so you don't have to hear me run through all the numbers over and over again. You can see for yourself, and I'll kind of just give my um, my thoughts on it more than regurgitating the numbers. So. Uh, with new listings being down, we're, we're, we've seen that. That's been a trend that we've seen with new listings going down. And, and I think what I want to pause before we get into this is that everybody's hearing about the shift in the market. And I'll do another video really diving into the shift of the market, but we are seeing a shift in the market. What you need to know as a seller is that prices are coming down. You as a seller have to adjust your, your value of your prices down to meet where the buyers can pay. Again, without getting into the weeds with, with uh, interest rates and how payments are affected uh, by that. Just know that as a seller, your money or the amount you're gonna get for your home needs to come down to match where the buyers are. If you're a buyer, two things. You're starting to see homes stay on the market longer. So you're looking at homes, homes are on the market, but hey, that house just seems overpriced now or because of the interest rate, I can't buy as high of a property, uh, price property as I could before. Um, so what should you do? Just be patient. Homes will come on the market and homes will come on where they should be, value-wise. What we're seeing a lot right now is that these sellers have been on for months and months and months and are chasing the market, chasing the market down. Um, and really, they're just trying to catch up to where the market is. So if you're a buyer, just stay patient. The, those prices will regulate. They'll come back down where they need to be. Um, and the main thing to look at, we're seeing some trends. And you could say, oh, Galen, this seems like a seller's market kind of trend, but we're hearing the shift. And now is it going back to a buyer? Well, it's it's really not going to go back to a buyer's market. All we're going to see is we're going to go from a seller's market where the price is here to a seller's market where the price is there. Okay, so the, the amount of homes on the market is still low. We're seeing, I mean, the amount of new listings are down, which is going to affect days on market, which is going to increase the value of the price eventually. But we'll, again, what we got to look at right now is that the price is going to go down. It has to. It has to kind of counter or offset the interest rate increase. Um, so what's going to happen? Again, as those as the prices, the sellers eventually start dropping their price and realize they're not going to sell where we've been seeing the last couple of years because we had a very outrageously, you know, kind of an outlier two years where it spiked up in 2020 and 2021. It's going to regulate and go back down to probably what we were seeing at the end of 2019, which again was a very, very, very good market for sellers. It's just they've been spoiled the last couple of years. So now we're just going back down to where it should be. What's going to happen? Those prices are going to start to go down. You're going to see the average price and the median price start to go back down. Days on the market, I still think is, you know, they're going to go up a little bit, but once once sellers adjust their price, the days in the market is going to go back down. The prices are going to start to go back up. Um, our main thing that I'm looking at is not even the price aspects, the amount of listings. Um, the amount of listings going down is not good for an area that we, we need homes. Um, and I think that's really the big takeaway from all of this. You know, pending sales are down. Yes, well, that's part of, we don't have homes to sell or as many homes to sell. We're not going to have as many homes go pending. And again, that translates to we're not going to have as many homes go uh, get through the closing process and go uh, become sold. So the main thing I'm taking away from this is we still do not have enough listings. Take away the shift in the market. That really affects price more than anything. Um, the shift in the market, though, once that regulates and the values come down, again, we're back into a seller's market. We Really, we just have to figure out a way to come out of a seller's market. And I've talked about that before, and I'll go into that in other videos also. But again, that's this month's How's the Market. If you have any questions, please reach out. If you want to nerd out on all this stuff, again, I'm trying to keep it um, easy for um, for you guys and not dive too much and, and uh, you know, kind of get lost in some details here. But um, if you do want to have those conversations, please reach out. I'm more than happy to have them. But again, if you need, um, you have any questions, reach out. Um, again, Galen Trom at Galen Trombley. You can reach out to pretty much every social platform. Um, but yeah, that's this month's How's the Market. See you next month.